All right, hello everyone. Uh, so today I've got this very nice and compact birch and oak tree farm for you today. As you can see, it is, yeah, like I said, very compact. And I think it's pretty unique as well, uh, this design here. Uh, I actually really like the way this thing turned out. I kind of just put together all like a bunch of weird tricks that I know. And uh, yeah, this is kind of what came out. So yeah, it only does oak and birch, and these are the rates, 12,000 oak an hour, 10,000 birch an hour. I think the birch is a bit slower than the oak because we're limiting uh, the birch slightly because we don't want the oak, the, like the large oak ones to, to grow. Uh, yeah, so the reason we only do oak and birch is because those are the ones that only work with this uh, layout here. Um, this is kind of like the same layout. You only need one air block around the sapling for it to grow. And uh, as always, like the having other log blocks around it doesn't affect the growth. So we can try to grow this one right now. And yeah, that's fine. So this also kind of represents the typical amount of leaves we would get back. If we just count them, we should have a good idea if uh, we get enough saplings back, basically. So that's one, two, three. 20, 20, 22. I counted 22 there, and there's a 1 in 20 chance for each leaf block to give back a sapling, so we're kind of just barely getting enough saplings back, but that's, you know, fine. Uh, and that's also kind of why I have all of this glass surrounding it, uh, to try to encourage the saplings to fall inwards, where we can collect them with hoppers instead of outwards. Uh, so yeah, this water thing going on here, there's actually a few things going on. Uh, so first of all, the water protects the rest of the tree farm from the explosions. Uh, it provides us a very consistent blast pattern here. Uh, like sometimes there's a block left at the top, but the important part is that this bottom part, you get a nice and flat blast pattern so that there's uh, not many places for logs to get stuck after they get blown up, so there's a minimal amount of loss. And also it's kind of built into this water stream here. Before I was getting logs kind of stuck in that place, but if you just make these water source blocks, uh, then they'll just flow out just fine. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do a tutorial for this thing, but I will at the end of this video just show how to get the water like this, because uh, there's a kind of a specific way to do that. And uh, I should also say that this water isn't 100% stable. Like if I were to update it by placing a block right here, then it would kind of make the water flow outwards, which is not good. But uh, I mean, you don't want to place anything here anyways, so because it would just get blown up, right? So it's fine as long as you don't, as long as like uh, you don't touch it. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's take a look inside here. So this is the growth detection. Uh, we have a locked repeater trying to power the bottom log block. When a bottom log, when a log does generate here, it powers this powered rail, which updates this piston here, which would be budded from the log. Pushes down a redstone block, which unpowers this piston, uncuts a, this line here, and that kind of starts the whole thing uh, going. And yeah, I actually had the idea for these leaf crushers from like a 4x4 piston door, believe it or not. They did something like this. It was like a really compact uh, piston door. I don't know, I just thought it looked kind of cool. And uh, yeah, the duper here is a. We're using dust redirection instead of like the more common like a uh, slime block one with a minecart and detector rail thing. I just decided to go completely slimeless and honeyless with this one. I don't know, just because I can, I guess. And I think sort of because of that, this farm makes for like a, just a good starter farm if all you need is just logs to get you going. Because uh, honey and slime, they're kind of hard to get early on. 
Yeah, this is just a basic comparator clock, which uh, controls the duper every once in a while. Uh, let's just kick this guy. Just so we can show how to use this thing. I'm placing oak right now. And I can just swap to bridge at any time. It just works just like that. Uh, now you don't want to AFK right here. I know it looks like you might want to. Like It looks a bit better, I think. Except you'd actually be taking damage from the explosions. So that's why I have it right here. Right here it's fine. Like I tested in survival uh, for quite a long time. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Down here is just you know your basic bone meal supply. Um, okay, one more other thing, one last thing. What's kind of nice about having this water thing here is that if something were to go terribly wrong, like a TNT drops farther than it's supposed to, then uh, it's completely fine because the water you know protects everything, right? So yeah, I think I'm just going to move on to the how to get the water like this now. Okay, I'm just going to start from this point here. Um, I'm going to provide a world download uh, to this thing if anyone doesn't want to build it. And they can just follow along at this point to get the water uh, thing. So yeah, basically you just want to place some glass along the bottom here and go one out. And I'll place source blocks all along the bottom, like this, and just be aware that you don't want uh, the water to like interfere with any of this. We're going to be doing a lot of that, so just be aware you may want to dig a trench right here. Then you can place waterlog this stair, and then now all of these, and this should be fine, doesn't flow out. And now we can kind of manipulate the water to get it uh, into this that shape that we had before. So I think we build out eight blocks. One, two. Okay, that's perfect. And then you can just place blocks like this. And the water will always want to flow out this way because it's like a shorter path than flowing that out that way. So you just do this a little bit until you reach the end. Okay, now once you have this, um, I guess first let's do the water stream at the back that collects all the stuff. I think that should be fine. Okay, and then now finally you can remove these or just let them blow up. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Nice and easy. Okay, anyway, um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.